What's up guys, Ronaldo here and welcome. Today I want to make you guys a little bit of a Abizu showcase and I can just tell you from the gecko she is gonna be amazing as you will be able to see. I'm gonna compare her to some other epics, see how she is able to deal with gear rate 1 stage 21 uh, as a damage dealer as well, as one of the damage dealers. Um, and then also I will compare her to Comet because Comet in the end is just who you have to compare yourself to if you're an AoE mage. But um, she will do amazingly. Um, she is just so good. Finally a really strong epic um, that we've been asking for. Now uh, I've been critical of Rourke, right? Um I'm also critical of most of the other new epics. I think uh, they could be better. But she just has a lot going for her. And first of all, um, she restores a lot of rage, right? When enemies die in her range, which is amazing. Because rage, as we all know, is, is one of the gold stats. Of course, attack as well, but rage is one of the best things you can get. And then her ultimate basically deals 160% damage three times up to 10 enemy. For every enemy hit, she gains one uh, stack of bonus attack damage. So she gains up to 30% bonus attack damage. And with A3, which you can get with the Soul Stones, Magic Shred. So that's already amazing. Now, you could say 160% damage, 600 cost, 3 times, 10 enemies. That sounds awfully to similar... <laughs> can I speak? Uh, similar to another certain mage. Let's take a look here. Boom. What's that? 200% damage to 10 enemies 3 times, also 600 cost. So how can I say uh, Kriya is not that good, but um, she is good? H how is that the case? Well, the problem with Kriya is that she uh, relies on the stone crows a lot as well, right? Uh, next to her ult. Uh, whereas uh, it's really hard to get these stone crows out. Whereas um, Abizu gets a lot of attack, like pretty much guaranteed. And she got a better A1 as well. 110% AoE damage up to 5 enemies. Let's take a look here. Um, Kriya, right? 90% AoE damage up to 3 enemies, right? She mainly uh, is based on the Stone Crows. And now, let's take a look here. Top of that, uh, when she has Psych Force, uh, which she has pretty, um, pretty well done due to her ultimate, right? Um, she gets another 15% damage per second for 5 seconds under uh, area of effect. So just um, a pretty much like uh, you can compare it to the ground effect from Cerberus, just not as much, just 15%, but it's some extras as well. So basically, she is the 5 star version of Kriya. On top of it, she's a lord. Uh, she gains, um, gives your team buff, on top of that as well, uh, more buff if they're CC'd, right? So that's amazing for your team as well. And um, for the gear, I can show you, I'm using the Soulbound Arcana. I think it's by far the best option, um, because it's just a 50% uh, increase. Uh, you can, of course, use other gear as well. You can use an Ageless Wrath if you don't have a good Soulbound Arcana. You can use some early game gear pieces as well but mainly uh, you want to get a lot of attack and crit damage and some attack speed as well just balance these three stats out uh, pretty uh, accordingly as for the artifact here of twilight is the goat artifact for the mages um, by far one of the strongest artifacts in the game uh, with 30 percent increase and now let's go and take a look at how she performs in gear Aid one so for gear Aid one um we will do a few different things. First up, we will do a run uh, where she's just gonna deal damage compared to some other magic damage dealers. And after that, we're gonna do a run where she will compare her burst damage to a comet. But now, for the beginning, let's just take in our comp. Let's just build our comp. All right, so this is gonna be our team. It's for the rage cycling, especially for wave after wave. This is how I basically did it the first time in stage 21. So you can learn something as well for the guys that haven't cleared stage 21. This is an approach that you can clear it as well. Um, so we're gonna use only epics as our DPS and we're gonna place down our Abizu, right? Um, right here. 
give her a invic buff and then afterwards we're gonna place our Iona as well there we go and why do we have a Pyrus? Pyrus is just here to give the Lord bonus to Dolores so Dolores has more attack and therefore gives a bigger attack boost it's just a small thing right it's really just a small thing but I wanted to do it like that and now uh, the thing as you can see Abizu's ultimate is auto so that's in my book a negative but you will see there we go there comes the ult we can play around it we will be able to play around it now we will put down our healer right here and as you can see these two these two epic damage healers are doing an amazing job an amazing job here now we will have her and we actually didn't put the right artifact on our Leia yeah, perfect but it will still be fine so we're just gonna chill here we're gonna use these guys as healers and now you can already see a bit of a problem that Abizu has and this is pretty much the only problem I have with her is that like I said she has an auto ultimate and auto ultimates as we all know are not as good as a manual ult. now there we go get rid of this wave we're gonna get these ults uh, back up as soon as possible and now we're gonna place down our anti-healer here together with the Nellowin for even more rage regen and we didn't pop our Dolores so we didn't get perfect timings out unfortunately uh, and that's just how it is honestly that's just how it is um, now why do we have a Volca here she's not equipped anyways but she can help of course as well uh, with the vulnerability with the CDR um, if you're lacking right and now um, we have our regener back up and we're gonna wait here uh, until the ultimates are popped so we're gonna use Dolores before Abizu uses her ult and, and there she goes then we're gonna use this young lady we're gonna tuck, get these rages back up and we will use our anti-healer as well and the next wave is gone and as you can see it goes pretty smoothly and that we even without a legendary dps at all it goes really really smooth with these two because they're both like quite potent now as you can see abizu wasted her ultimate a bit here she wasted her ultimate which um, is a bit unfortunate now we're gonna pop this, gonna pop this, gonna pop this and that as well uh, we're gonna use that right here um, to guarantee that we have enough healing and so our um, side units don't die while this massive wave comes in and now this is gonna be the hardest part here this is where we're gonna need our boy for the anti-heal as well just to guarantee it right just to guarantee it and now we have um, these ultimates we're gonna pop disengage pop as well and now the next wave is getting down pop this as well as much ray chan as you can get it's such a good stat right and slowly but surely they're getting whittled down and now we're gonna just let it play let it play get our ults back up we will wait until our ults are almost ready and then we will pop um, Dolores again which is about right now perfect so we don't waste our ult damage while he's healing uh, so we're gonna use this as well that and there we go gonna get um, even more rage pack thanks to the Laurel strat that's Laurel is like key in my opinion thanks to Laurel you will with the Abizu um, if you time it properly always get two ultimate uh, cycles out while um, Dolores is channeling so as you will be able to see um, she gets another ultimate out and um, during Dolores channel which will help you significantly in the damage department and now it's just the boss left and you can just slowly whittle him down 
you get some uh, shred thanks to Volk as well so she's gonna help and then we're gonna pop that for the Abizu ult we're gonna wait for the Abizu ult then we pop this and just slowly keep on going now it's just the boss and then we will be able to see who did the most damage who did the most work out of these two uh, epic damage dealers right so we can just um, pop this um, get these ults back up there we go um, and it's a close fight but they will be able to finish him up right as he starts moving which is now there we go and let's take a look here let's take a look here uh, with two epics as the main DPS, no comet needed, right? Um, Artemis, of course, is goaded as well for the long duration of his anti-healing. Um, and now let's take a look here. So what we've got, what we've got, I'm excited. Boom, there we go. So as you can see, Abizu, even though her ultimate is just a short duration ultimate with a triple hit, dealt 100 million damage right 100 million damage and on top of that she applies some uh, magic resist shred as well and gives you uh, a lord right she's a lord that can be used which gives your team much more playroom which gives your team much more versatility as you could see i just put a pyrus in there to buff the dolores right just to buff the dolores you can flex around so much more if you use the lord in the battle as well and she's a one heck of a lord as you can see one heck of a lord but now let's take a look at how she compares in the initial burst window against the first wave um, against comet huh? against the king himself and then let's get to our conclusion all right so comet is equipped Aviso is equipped and let's take a look here let's take a look at the dps between these two so what we're going to do here is um, of course comet doesn't have a lord while Abizu is the Lord basically so she's gonna be placed here uh, and there we go just like that and now we place down Comet so they all get their ultimates up and and like this Laurel and we're gonna wait 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 until Abizu is about to ult which is about now so we're popping our dolores as you can see the defense shred comes in as well and then we will wait a second for our boy comet there we go and now get is out and obviously will get another ultimate out and as as you can see with comet it's it's a piece of cake here the first wave um and we will have Comet's ult burst window actually getting finished. Actually, they there we go. So they finish up the first wave um, without that much problems, right? Now let's take a look here at the damage distribution. Let's take a look here. She did. She does 5 million per ult and she gets two ults out. Like, she's crazy. She's crazy, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, guys. She's crazy. But now you might think, damn, is she better than Comet? Of course not. Now, I did something here. I did something here. And I'm going to do the run again and you will see the difference. Because there's uh, quite a difference depending on your placements, right? Uh, but this way she works like wonders, right? If you play her like this, what you want to do because her ultimate takes a long time to get ready um, after the deployment so you want to kind of play her like this but if you play her differently the comet will come out on top by a large margin what we're going to do now is we're going to do the showcase real quick again with a diff different setup and that is that we just place down comet first that's the only difference that we're going to make is that we're just going to place down our comet first before abizu and this way, the problem is that Abizu, as you will be able to see, her ult starts at zero. And therefore, I will only get one ultimate out of her, pretty much. So we're going to do it like that. Um, and we're going to wait until Comet's ready. Just now. And just pop, pop, 
pop. There we go. Now the Abizu ult comes in. And Comet pretty much got rid of everyone by the time that the Abizu ult gets in, right? And the first wave is gone immediately because Comet was able to ult earlier because Comet was able to dish out more damage, right? Now let's take a look here now how it works now, right? So it really depends on the placements as you will be able to see. <laughs> it's crazy. The thing is, as you can see, Comet can pretty much at this point uh, with this gear uh, one shot the first wave on his own. Now the defense shred of Abizu helped as well. But um, if he gets access before Abizu is able to deal any damage, he's just gonna one shot the wave before she gets to do stuff right. <laughs> that, that's just how crazy it is. So so take this first wave uh, strategy with a grain of salt. Um, but uh, I think you really want to place her down early. Um, this way you can get more out of her. And also uh, don't compare this now that you see these different numbers, right? One time they did same damage, now Comet did 80%. Does he deal more than 80% damage of Abizu? No, he doesn't. Abizu wasn't able to get that much damage out because by the time her ultimate was ready, Comet already cleared half of the wave. Huh? Um, this is um, just something that I want to showcase you guys. Not that you think, wow, Abizu was able to out damage it. No, it really depends on the placement order as well. Uh, which is why I wanted to do a full run uh, with Abizu and Iona as well um, uh, to see like how it works together and I might even do another video tomorrow um, by the way yeah I think I'll do another video tomorrow as well uh, on her against uh, Kriya because their ult is pretty much the same uh, Kriya has a better scaling but she doesn't get the 30% attack she doesn't have that much I think Abizu is basically the better version of Kriya uh, this is my uh, conclusion. Where is she? Let's take a look. There we go. So, my conclusion, guys. Abizu, in my opinion, she's a better version of Kriya. She's a better version of uh, uh, Aeon because, sure, Aeon gives you some CC. She is a lord as well. But you're not going to place her down. The CC and not, it's, it's not enough. Like the CC and the shred that she gives, not going to be that much of a difference maker. You much rather have a Abizu that also gives you Shred, that deals a lot of damage, that also gives you a um, good faction bonus on top of it. And um, yeah, in my opinion, she is like one of the best Lords now um, that we have from the epics. Of course, Pyros is amazing as well. Wrath is amazing. And now, of course, Isolde is amazing. And she is also one of these uh, amazing Lords, right? Who deals a lot of damage, who is a good Lord. And I'm just so happy because she's an alternative that can be used in Gear Raid 1 to the likes of a Comet, right? To the likes of a Boreas, uh, just to help you get that extra damage out. On top of it, as we all know, there's so many strong uh, cultist units for Gear Raid 1. So she's going to help you so much in Gear Raid 1, right? If you have a Vierna, a um, Captain Reef, um, Magda in the future, and so forth. Uh, she's gonna boost their damage, their all of their damage so much just by being the Lord. And yeah, in my opinion, Kriya, amazing unit. I'm excited to get her on the global server as well as soon as I got my shards finished. I hope you are too. Other than that, I hope you have a blessed day. I'm Ronaldo and I'm out. Peace.